Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about client lib or client side libraries. To render a page properly, we need JavaScript, CSS and other resources. Resources like the font files and the icons, icons which is being referred in your CSS file. So in AEM, we kept these files in a specific type of folder called CQ client library folder. And this, this folder is called client libs in general terms. As part of this tutorial, I'll talk about the basics of client library. We already have a detailed tutorial available over this channel. After this tutorial, you can go back and check that for more detail. So if you want to check that, there is a tutorial available, tutorial number seven of developer series. Tutorial number seven of developer series. These days, these client libraries are generated by your plugins. These days we have a specific folder to write your UI things like JavaScript, CSS. But as part of this tutorial, I'll explain the basics and I'll create a client library using CRXT. And I'll let you know what are the folders and the subfolders, how you should keep those uh, CSS and JavaScript. So as part of this tutorial, I'll use vDetail project folder and I'll create there. So how you can do that? Create a folder, node, Basically, it's everything is node and you have to choose CQ. I have already chosen. So that's why you see CQ client library folder and you can name it anything. Let me give a name a demo. So a folder has been created here. How this will make a client library. So there should be a specific property called categories. This property should be there and the value of this property should be the name of category by which you will refer those by you which you will call this client library this can be a array of string or a simple string it's up to you so i'm making a string as of now so if i add it and i save it right so now this client library can be called using this am demo aim hyphen demo i have already explained this in developer series tutorial now inside this you must have two files right a let me create that file js.txt and cs.txt css.txt now whatever the css and javascript file you want to add in this you can add anywhere under aem hyphen demo but there is a standard structure recommended structure even you can add it anywhere so as per the aem recommended structure is create a folder called js js you can name it anything i'm just following the standard structure okay and create a folder called css right now you can keep your css files here inside this folder and javascript file in this folder but let's say if you have some other resources called font files and icons so you should have a folder and the folder name should be specific so that folder name should be resources okay create a folder and name it resources resources this name should be exactly resources okay uh, otherwise it will not load now let me create a file under CSS. I'll give you an example of CSS, same way the JavaScript also works. So let me create a, a file called uh, color, okay, color dot CSS. So inside this, I added a class geeks hyphen orange and I set a background color as a orange, right? So what happened now? This file is lying there, but it will not load. So this file should be load, right? How you will load that? So you have to make an entry of this file inside this CSS.txt, right? So this entry based on where your file is. So what I'll do, let me add, I'll, I'll tell you what is that. Okay, base equal to CSS. What is this? I'll explain what is this and my file name so i saved it now okay base is equal to css correct so now my 
client lib is ready okay same way you can add file here if you have multiple file you can add any number of file here and whatever you want to load you can add here okay let me write one more file here so that i can explain a concept completely so i added one more file called button.css and i added button hyphen orange color is orange so what i'll do i'll make an entry of this file as well here right css save it now now how to load this right let me uh, give an example of a template so ideally you will load this in your code you call this in your code base right but here i'll explain how to load this in template i just wanted to show you like client library what is client library so as i explained you can add client library in template as well so go to template i'll show you loading it go to template go to my template inside template go to the page policy okay and page policy you will see this option client library so as soon as you add all the client libraries are available here so let let us search aem hyphen demo see this is available aem demo so where it is coming from the category okay this category where are say this one the aem uh, underscore demo so this is the category by which you will call it everywhere so let me save this now so ideally whatever the page is created using this this client library should be available so now let me open this page we did not add anything any selector so you can't see this over page but you i can show you in network so let me refresh this now okay okay uh open this as a view And if you go to the network tab and you see the CSS, you will find a AEM and hyphen demo CSS, right? If I open this, you will see here, see the CSS is available. And now you see only one file, right? You don't see here. I see the two files, right? Button and color, but the client library load as a single file, whatever you have all the css will be load as a single file so here you'll seeing here this is the name of client library okay means category and added css same way when you will have javascript so it will load like aem this hyphen demo dot js right so and it is on the single file now let's understand what is the meaning of this first line so this hash base is equal to CSS says this is my base folder and inside this I want to load this it's not necessary to add this but this is the best practice you can remove this or you can add like this CSS slash forward slash and the folder right so now also I'm saying I'm loading this from this folder this file right but Best practice is you generally keep this as a folder. Let's say you have multiple folders, right? Inside this, you have subfolders. So in that case, you can load this. This actually give you the base path, right? Base path starting in this client library. All right. There are two more important properties, which I did not added here, but I'll take example of this client lib base, right? So if you see category, obviously, this is the thing by which we refer this and this client library will identify two important properties are dependencies and embed what do you mean by dependency this is also array type right array type category also can be array type dependencies means you add other client libraries in dependency you can add multiple here right now it's a javascript what does that mean so it is a dependency means whenever your this client library will load before this this client library will load right because this is a dependency right this is the meaning if we have two client library so whenever this base load before this base load these two client library will load right as a separately they will load before this right now embed embed means whenever you load this client library the code of this client library will merge inside this and that only this client library will load but whatever written there inside these client libraries will be available as part of this this is called embed and surely you'll get one question in your certification exam not straightforward they'll give you a scenario 
but surely you'll get one question based on these properties one more thing allow proxy right allow proxy means this client library will be available will be available on your dispatcher or dispatcher or your publish so if on publish user is anonymous right for anonymous user this client library is allowed using this property otherwise this won't load if you remove this property you will see the changes on your author or wherever you logged in but for anonymous user you won't be able to see this so this property allow proxy true to allow this client library on for the anonymous user on your publish instance so i intentionally explain client library now because in next tutorial i'll explain the style system for style system you first must understand this client library okay so if you want to know detail more detailed tutorial go to the tutorial number seven and see the other concept there are many other concepts as well like minimization and all you can see everything there i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you